Congrats on the win, man. Thank you. Thank you. Right here. Oh. That's a nice way to bounce back from uh, the disappointment in, in Honolulu, yeah? Yeah. Um, it's a nice way to bounce back from a lot of wins. Every win is a big one, so, I mean, yeah. It's, yeah, I don't, think I'm, I don't think I'm fighting the guy in there. I'm just fighting myself. And, yeah, it was good. It was good to get that finish. Uh, I know you're supposed to be back in the summer. So, I mean, how much extra motivation did you have um, going into tonight knowing that you had to pull out of a fight a few months back? Yeah, it was good because, I mean, I don't really take any breaks. And I damn sure don't pull out a fight. So, uh, it, was, it was good to get back in as soon as I could. First knockout of your career, and also your first finish in like eight plus years, right? Mm -hmm. Did you uh, did you feel that was coming coming into tonight? I felt it. I thought it was gonna be earlier. Um, he was tough. He just wasn't. He wasn't as uh, or he was. I just wasn't setting stuff up as quick as I wanted to. But um, yeah, glad to get that finish. Um, the way the fight played out, I mean, did you kind of expect that to be a, a kickboxing match when when you were coming into this thing? Yeah, I mean, the way I train, the, the, the gains that I've made over the past two years, I have um, coach, working with Coach Eric, Coach Eddie, those, uh, those two guys, they've made me more of a kickboxer than just a boxer and a wrestler. Um, hence the song that I came out to, um, you know, shout out to Max. But uh, yeah, I just, I, I gained more of that style with my wrestling and my ground and pound. Um, my, my ground is my ground is even better than what I showed tonight um, just from with guys um, working with you know guys like Ray Cooper Jeremy Kennedy Mads Brunel, Um in Vegas Jeremy Kennedy and Mads Brunel, they helped me the most on making those um, ground ground gains uh, the grab that grappling gains because I'm, I'm more of a folk style wrestler right and those two guys they're not folk style wrestlers they're more Greco and um, Greco and Jiu-Jitsu guys, so they get, they've, they've helped me gain a lot on the, on the Jiu-Jitsu and the grappling side. Now that you're back in the win column, what's 2023 look like for you? You got uh, specific active. goals that you got set out for? Just stay active and keep getting better. I feel like my skills, I'm always improving. I don't take any breaks, so just staying active, taking the baby steps, the steps that I haven't taken over the past two years, um, just from wanting always the big th next big one, next big one, next big one. You know, I just, I still gotta work on myself. I feel like that's the only guy I'm fighting. That's why I'm in there. Is just myself. It doesn't doesn't matter the the opponent. It's just I have so many tools that it doesn't matter the opponent. I just gotta be in control of myself. Oh, it means everything. Just cause. Um, growing up, I, used to, I just always looked up to him. He was two, two years older than me, and he did, every, he did something. I wanted to be just like him. He, he scored a touchdown. I wanted to score a touchdown. I wanted to be like him. He, he was a state champ wrestler. Uh, I wanted to be a state champ wrestler. He was a, th a three-time state champion. I wanted to be, I just wanted to be the best wrestler ever, just like him. Um, he wanted to, he, he's always knocking guys out. I want to be like him, you know, so it's, it's always good to, know that he believes in me, he knows and believes in the work that I do. So, it, yeah, it's, 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 it's big. As long, I, I know that he trusts me and trusts the work that I do, so that gives me a lot of confidence. In a sense, yeah. In a sense, yeah, I was, I was really, I was kind of antsy, like the, the finish didn't come yet. But, I, but, I'm, but I'm also, I, I was in control of myself, so I wasn't too worried. I, I, I seen every situation out there that, that he, had, he had to put in front of me. I was just, I wanted to finish faster, but you can't, a finish, a finish is a finish. Being exciting is exciting, but the one thing that you cannot take away from somebody is a win. If, if it's a win is boring, if it's a win is a finish, the only, you cannot take a win away. So, I mean, I'm glad I just got the win, you know, cause could be, could be worse. I could be, I could be entertaining like how I've been, but, and losing split decisions, you know? So the, the, the main thing is the win. Um, yeah, you know, in a way, I, I did, I did, but I don't, I'm, I'm not surprised at anything anybody throws at me because, because he don't know how I'm going to fight. Every fight, I get better. Every fight, I show something different. I don't show my complete game. That's on me. That's my fault. But every every fight, I get better. Um, 
you've never seen the same me twice, but you've never seen all of me at once. So that's the main thing. Kay Williams for Can Chronicles Media. Congratulations on the win. Um, it seems as though you approached the cage really patient, looking for your execution. Was that a strategy implemented by your corner? That was well. That was mainly by me because I know the way I've been fighting. I know the, the emotions that I go in with, the pressure I put on myself. So the main thing I, the whole camp was being relaxed, being in control of my emotions, my heart rate, and yeah. So even the the whole week, the whole leading up, it was always just breathing, keeping control of myself, listening to more relaxing music that made me feel good. Not, not, nothing, not something that's gonna make me go over the top, you know, the music, to the way I am in the back, because Coach Eric, everybody, Coach Eric knows, he sees it, that I can get fucking crazy in the back, um, especially with my cousin there, because he puts me over the top, so I just gotta f keep myself um, as like, um, as normal as possible, along with everything else around me. It's already crazy, right? A fight is a fight, so. And also, um, at what point in time did you figure that your leg kicks were actually controlling the tempo of the match? Um, I knew from the beginning. I'm faster than a lot of these guys, and my eyes, is, my eyes, my eyes are too good. He just told me that his plan was to kick me. That's the same thing that Danny Chavez tried to do. And then he couldn't even walk. But he, somehow we ended up in a draw. So, I mean, that's kind of stupid. If you, if you watch my fights, you're not gonna, I mean, I'm too fast to leg kick like that. So, um, yeah, I'm too fast to leg kick. So, so, so I knew, I'm, I'm the faster guy, so leg kicks are gonna be my favorite all the time. All right, Kai right here. Congratulations, Keith Schillen from Sherdog. Uh, I saw an interview, you were saying that you really didn't want to get into these brawls. Uh, he came out like a madman in the third. Uh, obviously, he was behind in the cards. What'd you do to keep yourself so you didn't get in that brawl? I have, I have like the best corner in the game. Um, I have a world, I have a world champion. I have a world champion champion coach. So, I mean, we 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 see everything. We knew the third. He's down two rounds. My coach just told me he's gonna come the first minute. He's gonna blitz. He's gonna give everything he can that first minute. I wasn't tired or anything, but I knew that. He was gonna give air, like, he just hasn't fought at the level I've, I fought at, to be honest. So, he was gonna come out hard. Like, he was like too dumb for his own good. He was gonna come out hard and try and finish me in that third round because he knew that, that that's, you know, that was his shot. And he, he, he redlined himself, that's it. I wasn't tired or anything. I just knew that he was, gonna, and he was kicking. He was kicking high. Uh, you can get tired to kicking, especially if you don't kick a lot, so, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, Kai over here. Uh, how, are you, how are you going to celebrate that win, man? Oh, I don't know. I got a long flight tomorrow, um, like 10 hours. So I'm going to go hard tonight, like kind of like how we did um, when, when we won. Oh, my, well, I say we, but when my cousin won the 2019 championship, we went hard all the way until we left because it was like a straight flight, and I'm planning on doing the same thing again. Awesome, man. And what were, were the emotions like, you know, just getting that finish after, uh, you know, that many years in the game and, and to hear the audience's reaction to it, man, uh, what was that feeling like for you? Oh, it's good. Um, I don't know. I just, it was a battle myself. Even in, that, even in that, that, that flurry of me finishing him, I was battling myself like, I'm going to get this finish. I was already winning the fight. I was going to win the fight. But I was fighting myself, like, keep going, keep going. I was had him right in my corner. And, yeah, I just, um, I was battling myself. Um, I could just, it, it was weird, because I could see my, I could see, like, I look up to Peter Jan a lot. I, I, I mimic his style a lot. Um, you know, I, I like a lot of his stuff. That's why Al Jermaine uses me a lot um, for his camps with, with Peter Jan. But, so I, I just, I kind of seen a, a, a sense of Peter Jan in that moment like it, it, when I was in the zone in that finish because I was just going, going, going. And then I, I, I could, you know, when Peter Jan hurts guys and they start shooting and they, they're hurting and he just, like how he did to Douglas Leon Drage, um, just, just break, you know, that's, it's kind of that, it, that's, that fight was like in, playing in my head, just keep going, keep going, keep going. And that's literally, that's literally what happened. I mean, you lived up to Jan's nickname in No Mercy, man. So just congrats on the win. Thank you.